<laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry. Oh, Ben. This is why I can't have nice things. Yeah, two Mexican pizzas, please. Okay. You don't want a beverage? Do you want a beverage? Well, I mean, what are we gonna just eat some dry I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, one second. What? Can we go ahead and do uh, one blue raspberry freeze? A blue raspberry freeze? Yeah, and then can we do one electric blue raspberry freeze? Yes. Okay, so these can go one of two ways when you open them. They could be like perfectly formed, or everything could be just like completely slid off and stuck to the side of the box. Ooh, kind Not of bad. slidey. They were like, no tomatoes on this side. My please. favorite thing, the color of Taco Bell's tomatoes, it's like a millennial pink. They're not red. They're never quite ripe ever. I don't know where they get them from. So Do you want me to fire sauce them? Yeah, yeah, just give me a liberal squirt over the top. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so you've never had one of these, right? I have not. Which is shocking because you are a self-professed garbage aficionado. Yes, yes, yes. There's like a tostada shell on the bottom, then there's just a schmear of bean paste and then a schmear of meat paste. So Best no cheese on the inside, nope. only cheese on the top. Correct. And then the top gets, they literally just call it Mexican pizza sauce. It is its own sauce that has existed since 1988, which is when they debuted this. So this is like the OG innovative menu item from Taco Bell. Before okay. the crunch wrap, before the you know double-decker gorditas, all that. My mouth this is, is like so wet right now. I've been wet since we pulled through that <laughs> drive through girl. So yeah, and then there's- Oh, wow. Oh, oh God. If you weren't wet before. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, dig in. Mm. Oh, God, dang. <laughs> Gave you a nice little um, sauce mustache mm -hmm. there. The first thing I'm getting into is the cheese. That is a lot of cheese on the top. It almost tastes nostalgic because Taco Bell doesn't have a lot of things that still taste like this. Now, the funny thing about this, like, what Mexican food item is this supposed to be? Because like a taco is a taco, a burrito is a burrito. Gordita oh. is a real like regional Mexican food item. But this is just calling it a Mexican pizza. So I have this theory that the Taco Bell Mexican pizza is actually based off of the Oaxacan Tlayuda. Did my face look like I knew what Oaxacan was when you said it? Because I was trying really hard. I was like, oh yeah, definitely I know so. what you, that is. You gave some active listening cues, so I kind of mm. thought you did. It, it's a state in Mexico, and they've kept a lot of pre-Hispanic, pre-colonized traditions. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I'm assuming you're gonna know how to make this fancy. What are you gonna do to it, you think? I mean, first steps first, we should probably just put some liquor in those slushies. Second step second. <laughs> I'm just saying what we're all thinking, right? Yeah. <laughs> second step second, we're actually gonna go to my favorite Oaxacan restaurant in Los Angeles. It's Ooh. called Gela Getza. We're gonna hang out with Bricia Lopez. She actually just wrote a cookbook all about Oaxacan food. And so we're gonna try and recreate this, but using legit ingredients from Oaxaca. We're gonna get some Tlayuda tortillas from them. And um, if I had a guess, I know they serve a lot of mezcal there. Mm. So we can probably make that happen. Hey, you doing? I'm Josh. Hi, Josh. Oh, Josh great to meet you. No, 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 I don't know. Javier, what up, dude? I'm Emily. Up, nice to meet you guys. So can you tell me a little about Oaxacan food? Like, for people who aren't familiar. It's got the oldest remnants of corn, of tomato, of a different, a lot of different herbs, wild herbs that only grow in Oaxaca, a lot of chiles that only grow in Oaxaca, a lot mm. of spices that are only found there. It's maintained its indigenous flavors more than other states. One of our reasons for being here is also because Taco Bell. And it's a lot of people's first kind of taste of what Mexican food is in America. You said you visited every state <laughs> in Mexico, right? Almost every state, yeah. Almost, every, you'll get there one day, yeah. man. But like, you know, Taco Bell's original hard shell taco, it's basically a taco dorado, right? And then Taco Bell also uses the terms gordita and chalupa, which are both like regional mm -hmm. dishes. And so I have this theory that the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell is based off of a tlayuda. Have you ever had a Mexican pizza? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna out myself. Listen, when I came into this country, <laughs> I was 10 years old. <laughs> And I loved me some Taco Bell. We'd love to learn how to how to make yeah. a Yeah, well, so you're we can... definitely in the right place yeah. if you want to yes. make a legit Mexican pizza. Uh, well, we're gonna try and add like three hundred dollars worth of other ingredients to one. To <laughs> so it's gonna Let's get a it. little weird. We have a little tradition on this show where where we like to drink hard liquor. We may have to get to some mezcal later. Um, oh, I will one hundred percent drink mezcal. Yay. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Mezcal is like, especially when you're in Oaxaca, like you know, you just you do drink it like all day, every day. Don't worry, I'm from Nashville. Drinking okay. all day is acceptable. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Congratulations yeah. on your book yeah. and everything. Yeah. Right, so that's what do you not want to do? I said we wouldn't take shots. Oh, I really misunderstood totally that. We should fine. probably line it back up. Totally now. Yeah. Fine. Right now you're gonna go make the this. Like we just have this with us uh, and we can just, just drink it throughout. Walking after this, yeah. that yeah. sounds doable. Fire. This is called a tortilla la ayuda. This one is made in Oaxaca and we ship it. That's the champagne of tortillas. Correct, exactly, exactly. What All makes it different uh, the way so that you make it? So the way that you, if you touch it, 
it's this corn, and a lot yeah. of people are get like tripped out at the fact that oh, wow. you have such a huge corn tortilla. Yeah. This is called asiento. It's basically a pork fat reduction, if you want to be oh, fancy about that it. That was my nickname in high school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to the the, the, the bean paste. We do nice. have this recipe in the book. You guys are gonna love it. You're never nice. gonna want to have beans, regular beans, ever again. Then after this, it just becomes toppings. Ah. A traditional clayuda will have some um, cabbage. Okay. That's very traditional in the, in the streets of Oaxaca. Then we move to our favorite thing here at the restaurant, our Oaxaca cheese, our Oaxaca oh, yes. string cheese. So if you can see, this has been already streamed. Can we just grab some? So of that? streamy! Yes. We, didn't, we didn't eat. This is what's gonna melt. It's gonna be crispy and fatty, and that flavor of the, of the beans. The beans also take us a very long time to make because mm. we make everything from scratch. We'll put chorizo on top of this one because that I just is love our chorizo. My favorite. The chorizo looks like Wilma's necklace from the Flintstones. Totally! And how I want to wear it. These are just um, chiles de árbol. Nice. That is the way, But this is the way that I would so make pretty. my own. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go sit down? Yeah, can we? Or should mm -hmm. we just, Ben, you want to eat it here? I feel like, what? Oh! Oh, oh my God! I'm so sorry. Oh, Ben. This is why I can't have nice things. So Let's good. eat that part. Look, that one's good. Can I just... Uh, you guys are I'll cut off. You guys are cut off from I'll mezcal. We should have more I... mezcal though, right? Grecia, thank you so much for the hospitality. Uh, we can't apologize enough. We'll pay yeah. for damages. Ben has the credit card. Just hit him up. Before you leave, I wanted to take send these for you. Oh. Please be careful. Don't drop these. Or maybe give them to her at this point. Don't I, drop them. Thank you. Handle with I care. I appreciate this honor. I don't want you to break them. This is going to be the base for your perfect Oaxacan pizza. Can I still come back for brunch or am I, I like banned? I don't know anything about that, okay? I don't, Sorry. I mean, ugh. Time heals all wounds. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have all the ingredients laid out for our fancy Mexican pizza. We got the two layer of tortillas that we got from Galaguetza. That, that survived. <laughs> that survived. <laughs> and then here is gonna be the meat portion, right? So we're actually gonna do a play on the barbacoa that they make at Galaguetza. We have the recipe from their cookbook that we're gonna play with, fence by a little bit. So we got wagyu oxtails here. Okay. And then we got some wagyu green cut short ribs there. We gotta do make you ever wanna just like spank the meat? You can spank the meat. Ow! None of them are spankable, they're yeah. hard. Spank the hard meat. So we got beans right here. That's gonna be for a bean paste. Uh, it's a really big thing. And we'll have to do black bean paste, so we got three different heirloom black beans. For the Mexican pizza sauce, we're actually gonna be making a mole negro that's from the Oaxaca cookbook as well. But again, we're gonna fancy it a little bit, so that's why we got all these chilies here. Another big thing in Oaxacan cooking are hojas de aguacate or dried avocado leaves. I already ate some. You just ate leaves? Yeah, why not? We're a dinosaur. We're in the kitchen. We have this unprocessed Oaxacan chocolate. Whoa. So there's actually no dairy in it whatsoever. That's really tasty. That's awesome. That's that good looks cool. Chilies. And then we are putting some Oaxacan string cheese on top. If you see it, you pick it up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Just, just get it. Okay. I can't tell if I was impersonating a fish or a cat. <laughs> I, I thought it was a duck. Uh, and then we have to make the asiento, which if you remember, Brisi was talking about, you like schmear the lard paste on top of the tortilla. Right, I remember that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the trimmings from our oxtail, then we're gonna render that down with beef tallow and duck fat. Oh, we have one more surprise. Of course, we gotta get some mezcal going. Mezcal was a big part of our experience. Huge part. Undeniable, it's on It's camera. very important to the pizza. I got it, because it's got a whole scorpion in the bottom. I bet you're gonna make us eat that. So as we learned in the Oaxacan tradition, it's very important not to shoot mezcal, but rather to sip it. So I figured we could just pour it right in our Taco Bell freezes. Yes, problem is solved. Let's play with some fire. Okay. I was just wondering if i doing this, can I touch my eyes? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wanna touch your eyes. Gets you all riled up, you know, for those in Moscow. <laughs> I feel you like you're being sarcastic bit. and I really need you to tell me the truth right now. No, don't touch your eyes after you touch the peppers. Okay, thank you. And then you're now gonna pour. I almost touched my eyes. Oh my God. Let's say, uh, seven shots of mezcal in there. You're gonna soak the chilies in mezcal, get them all infused, and then we're gonna blend that into our marinade. So we should get some of that smokiness from the like mezcal. Like seven standard shots or seven <laughs> hour version of a shot? <laughs> seven <laughs> shots of mezcal. This isn't in the cookbook. Okay. I know this is a common technique in barbacoa where you'll actually layer oranges on the bottom and then the oranges are gonna perfume all the meat wow, as it cooks. Wow, that's really pretty. So layer that. While those are softening, we're gonna get our other ingredients for the spice mixture that's gonna marinate the meat into there. So we got some onions, we got garlic, we got black peppercorn, we got cumin. We got this. Which, what is that? Uh, it's oregano. It's, uh, it's what they sell you at your school. Oh. In oh. bags. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put some avocado leaves in there and then some bay leaves. It's... And then this is all gonna get blended up with those chilies. Cool, what are we gonna do with all that boiled mezcal? <laughs> Will it soup? <laughs> and I'm gonna take some of this Ooh, mezcal oh, mixture okay. and then pour it in there. 
And then this is actually gonna create like the base of our this stock. This looks like what they bottle and sell for $50 at like Pier 1. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that up. Should what? turn that off? No! Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely turn that off. Okay, how do I do it? Uh, there's a I button. Don't know. Oh yeah, it's a new stove. This is a new it's age a new technology stove. We don't know where anything in here is. We don't know how to work anything. Oh. You hit the button, so it's off. Oh. Yeah. Just grab with your raw hands. Your raw hands. Your bare hands. <laughs> put your raw hands on the bare meat. Get the bare meat in the pot. Let's go. What did you I just don't know. say? I don't know. But I'll do everything. Everyone's gonna here. think you have bear meat now. Yeah, give like a good liberal showering of salt all over that. Uh, uh, more liberal, like eight times as liberal. <laughs> I feel like the opposite of salt bay. I like just salt Dave. Just like, <laughs> I've had the salt on the meat. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and take that spice mixture over there and then. Um, Toss it with the tongs? You know my instinct is to go in there with my Toss with the tongs, the tongs, Toss the tongs. With, that was Kid Rock's ball with the ball. But toss with the tongs. But toss with the tongs. That's really good. Are we gonna get demonetized for that? <laughs> toss with the tongs. The tongs, the tongs. Okay, that's like it. a nice and tossed. Okay. And then we're gonna seal this up, and then we are going to put this in the oven at 350 for about three hours until it's just all nice and tender and shreddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this duck fat. I'm just gonna get a big scoop of it for my beans going. I wanna give them some fat. And then you're gonna start making the asiento, which is that unrefined pork lard paste, except we're gonna be using duck fat, tallow, and then some of that wagyu beef fat. While you're doing that, garlic, that's gonna flavor the beans nicely. Oh yeah, that's, oh, it's gonna oh, sputter no. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you know what's good for hot sputtering duck fat? Is the new Mythical kitchen towel available, oh, you're burning a little bit. Oh, available on mythical.store. Boom, merch. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is, you know, uh, sometimes you, you start talking about Kid Rock and you get pan really hot and then you forget that it's hot. I'm taking some onions that are quartered, and those are gonna stay in there. They're gonna stay whole, so it's just gonna perfume all the beans. I opened a jar. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're like practically an iron chef. <laughs> I hate you. Then Hang we're on. taking epizote leaves. Here, smell that. It smells nice and medicinal, kind of bitter. I only smell onion hands. Yeah, I got a lot of duck fat just burning in my face. <laughs> That's what I'm smelling. All right, so we have all the onions, chipotle, garlic, epizote, avocado leaves, and duck fat in there. And then now we're gonna add Ooh. all of our beans. And we're just gonna guess, maybe we want about a pound. Let's put it back on the heat, see what happens. I know what's gonna happen. Well, just, just be, have an open mind. We're gonna Scan. put the wagyu fat in there. I don't like to add salt to beans until the end. So we're gonna put water in that. Then we're just gonna shut the lid. Wait, wait, which one of us is good at lids? I'm usually unable to open them. You're unable to close them. Where's There's the some towel? ridges. Where's the There's towel? ridges. There's a ridge. It makes a little noise. All right, we gotta blend up some fat. This seems dangerous. Yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's normal. Are we gonna eat plastic? Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our chicharrones so we're gonna crumble them up in there. Now, you know, we're committed at this point. So then, yeah, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna boil your Vitamix with hot oil, and hopefully it doesn't- Wait, wait, wait. You. No, 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 like, we gotta commit. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. The lid doesn't look totally on It's there. fine, to just chill. <laughs> and none of us are burnt. Boom! Uh, I need a drink. Oh, yours was- That's yours. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> So Priestie said that fire is like super endemic to Oaxacan cooking. Okay. Right? She would probably use like a wood burning grill as they would in Oaxaca. We don't have that in here. But I do got this blowtorch that I stole from Mike, the art director. So we're gonna use that to make some salsas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and char these. Whoa, there they look go. so cool. So do I push this button? Yeah, just push the button, point the fire at the vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and take this and pop it in the oven. We're just gonna let that roast for about 10 minutes. And then uh, in the meantime, we got all this mezcal chili liquor in there. I kinda wanna put some of this in the salsa. I don't know why. Okay. Just like, <laughs> yeah, that should be really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt into this. And then I'm also going to use some of this Oaxacan cinnamon scented chocolate. This is actually Ooh. a good try. Yeah. I'm gonna stream in some vinegar for some acid. And we're gonna blend this up, see how this tastes, then get onto that. Ah, uh, Nicole, spoon me. Ah! <laughs> Did you catch it? That was sweet. Oh, that's getting there. Need a little bit of water. Uh, Emily, hold what? it down. All right. My dog, my little sister were on the front porch and there was a peeping Tom in the neighborhood. No one could catch him. And then my dog, who never barks, started barking 
And there he was. He was in our front yard, and my little sister was on the front porch. And he barked, and then he ran away. He was a good dog. I'm back. Did you talk about anything weird or just like normal cooking stuff? Normal cooking stuff. I want a lipstick in that color. <laughs> it's gonna burn. I've done this before as a bit, like 20 minutes later. Is it, it good? Is burning. it a good color though? Ooh, no, it's not too hot. Yeah, it's good. It's spicy, right? It is spicy. So you get the smoke and the mezcal. So now we're just gonna put a stick blender in there. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, it's kind of unnerving. It's actually really nice. A lot of good acid, a little touch of sweetness. You get the onion in there. So uh, this is gonna go into our mole negro, which is gonna serve as our Mexican pizza sauce. So we're gonna fry the chilies. That is really going to start kind of uh, expressing all of the flavor inside them. So piloncillo is uh, boiled cane juice that has been unrefined. So it's essentially just like a brick of sugar. So we're gonna take that and we're actually just gonna scrape. I bet a horse would really like that. Yeah? Yeah. All right, take that chocolate, uh, crumble it up, put it in the chicken stock. Crumble so it up? that soften. So have you seen Chocolat? No, I've never seen Chocolat, is it good? I've heard good things. It's good, it's about a lady who puts like a lot of chocolate in a lot of different types of foods. Is that actually what the movie's about? Dame Judi Dench is in it, and then she has diabetes, and then they have this big meal for her, and then she dies the next day. Cool. It's really sad. So we have clove, we have allspice berries, we have a lot of sesame seeds, and then we have dried thyme. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we go, a little bit of ground oregano. And these are gonna get all fragrant. So the chilies are frying. This is gonna get fragrant. We got the chocolate softening. Tomatoes. We're gonna take half of these tomatoes and we're gonna get them softening in the water with the chilies. Right? What are the raisins for? <sighs> Beats me, man. No, no, we're doing fine. This is melted. Uh, pour this into that. This is a what? We have abused this Vitamix today. The this chocolate? Vitamix is well, just the chocolate? Yeah, yeah. Those are nice and toasted. We're taking this off. Wait, keep that open. Keep that open. Clear your hands. Lord. Beautiful. All right. Ah! <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and turn that all the way up. Emily, stay calm. Now we're gonna go ahead <laughs> and we're just gonna start toasting uh, some raisins. I think we should just start blending, right? Okay, in the same blender, add the sesame seeds, oh. the ground herbs and spices, onion, garlic, almonds, cookies, plantains, apples. I have a child. I in the Laura letters with my husband. I have heavy, heavy breasts. Should we start putting some chilies and tomatoes in there? Okay. Right? Yeah. It seems right. Okay. It seems right. Yeah, I love it. Looks like a bunch of like orc <laughs> insides from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, smell that though. It smells so cool. Ooh, That's awesome. that does smell really good. I know you think of me as like a culinary bad boy. Is that what I think of you? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of the bad boy of the culinary world. <laughs> you know, like I don't like take no I think you're from... a bad boy. <laughs> and then you're gonna pour all your mole into the pot. Ew! <laughs> ah, it's all gonna combine together. Got some salt in there. Wow, that's really good. It's a flavor bomb! It is. Flavor bomb. All right, um, we're gonna let this cook down and then afterwards, just gonna wipe this off in the mythical kitchen towel. Uh, you can actually get yours pre-stained. Okay, so we have our barbacoa that's been in the oven and it looks freaking gorgeous. You yeah. see a lot of oil from all that wagyu beef fat is risen to the top. It's tainted red with chilies. And so I need you to go in there and shred all the meat by hand and put it into that bowl. Yeah, it's nice and shreddy. Ooh, that's fun! I'm gonna do something really important. Can I taste this? Ah! Oh, no! I'm just, I'm gonna trim the claws. I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna trim You're the trimming claws. trimming the claws? I'm just gonna trim the claws a little bit. <laughs> um, well. All right. Oh, I forgot to do a step. So we're gonna go ahead and take the tomatoes and we're gonna toast them in the oven at 350 right, Josh, degrees distract for about them. five minutes. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this shot okay. of scorpion. Down the hatch. No, you gotta tap it on the thing. It doesn't count. Eye contact. I get so sticky, it's stuck to my teeth. Why are you still chewing? Ah. Ah. Got it. Ah. It helps. Ooh. All right, we'll keep breaking that down. We got this to to tortilla toasted to the tor <laughs> tortellini. <laughs> We're going to toast up the tortellini. has a tortellini. Tortellini. Those are coming out. We're going to put that down there. That's going to be our bottom. And then this is going to be our top. It's going to be large. Put a big old dollop in there. Be gentle so you don't break it. Do I do it in the middle and smear it outwards? Yeah, I'd say do that. Should just start melting into it really wow. nicely. Just give it a nice little luby quality. <laughs> luby quality, that was my... That wasn't my nickname in high school. school. No. Yeah. <laughs> we focused on sports. These are the beans that we made and we just kind of pureed them. Uh -huh. I'm just take a bite of that. No. Okay. 
Totally, but like, you don't have to. There's things that. about like the, just eating it straight up that I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I eat a lot of beans. Nicole can attest to that. <laughs> it's a problem sometimes. It's you know? a big problem all the time. So now mm -hmm. we're just gonna dump a lot of this in there. Just, I don't even know why. Oh, just... wow. That's beautiful. This is exciting for me. I, I like what's happening here. I'll eat that from a fork. Why didn't you offer me that? Oh, man. Okay. Where's the towel? <laughs> Maybe go kitchen towel. Right? And then go kitchen towel. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. You go up like that, and then we gotta do the mole. All right, Ali. Now you just blanket all that Oaxacan string cheese over the top. Yeah. Let's see. Get a little more there. Perfect. Mm. Pop that in there. Let the cheese melt. It's gonna that come out. Beautiful. We're gonna put tomatoes on it. Wow, that's very silly. We did Woo! it. All right, so we got the cheese melting in the oven. We're gonna take it out. Wow! Ooh! It's nice and crispy. You smell the toasted corn. You smell the ingredients in the mole. So all we're gonna do is now just take the tomatoes. This is traditional both on a Mexican pizza and on a tlayuda. And I think you nailed it. Maybe that little hole there. Ah! This is a good Oaxacan Mexican pizza right now, but Taco Bell's not Taco Bell without the sauce, so we're just gonna. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Now that. It's a Oaxacan, Taco Bell, oh! fancy Mexican pizza. Should we eat this? Yeah. I'd like to do that. I would like that too. I'd like to do that. Oh, uh, that's a lovely crackle. Ooh. Are we gonna do it in four pieces? We're gonna do it in four, just like Taco Bell. It's too big, it's John! It's too big. That works shockingly well. It's beautiful. It really is. And colorful. But before we dig into that, I'm mesmerized by it. Look at it, it's like a hypno wheel with all the sauces. Oh my God. I love it. All right, so we need to taste Taco Bells to remind ourselves it's like, um, you know, going back and seeing your high school friends, and you're like, oh, you aged terribly. Ours is a little bit bigger. Uh-huh, yeah, um, just a little. But that's not what counts. What counts is how fancy it is, but yep. we gotta take a bite of this. I mean, you know. I'm still pretty great. I'm pretty great. <laughs> now should we pick this up and eat it? Oh, God. Emily, we gotta do it. Don't fold it. Support it from the bottom. Holy crap. Do you dink it? <laughs> yeah, I All right. <laughs> Emily, that is a symphony of flavors. Oh, my God. Wow. This is a thinking man's Mexican pizza. Because <laughs> there are layers in there. As you gotta think about a, what you've done in a, your life to get to this moment. <laughs> it is really, really um, good. I was freaking insane. It's held up too. Mm -hmm. So you actually like still get the corn tortilla flavor. The beef is so quality, but you taste a lot of the orange. You taste the pineapple, you taste the raisin. This is freaking incredible. The mole is so complex. You're just chowing down. Mm -hmm. You're going in. I'm gonna be real. Mm. There is a hair. Yeah. It's Nicole! Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. Sorry! It's fine, it's really not. I don't know why people stress so much about hair in their food. It's just hair. <laughs> Chill, Carol. You wanna ask me a specific question to the show? Give me the towel, man. <laughs> Let me dignify myself before I ask this important question that this entire segment hinges on. <laughs> What's that? How much this be? You're asking me how much this fancy Mexican pizza costs. Yeah. That we made with the best quality ingredients. I want to know, Josh, tell me. $298.64. cents. <laughs> <laughs> I like how specific you uh, are with the change. Yeah. You didn't want to round up. We do math. It's all about specifics. Oh my God. You know we switched drinks like three times throughout the episode? Yep, you told me you were sick earlier today. I am. Oh well. <laughs> it's probably contagious. All right, thank you guys so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. See you next Tuesday. Nope, that's an acronym for a bad word. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned next week for a new recipe video on Mythical Kitchen. And then next Tuesday, we got a brand new fancy fast food coming at you. See you next time. Get as messy as you want in your kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towel. Available now at mythical.com.